Hi guys, I'm Amy Rylander. I'm a prophetic artist. Um, many times people ask me to paint a painting for them that shares uh, what the Lord is saying. And so I do a lot of paintings that are for everyone. They speak to everybody, but um, people often will request a personal painting. So it shares what the Lord is saying to them. The thing that's interesting about the prophetic is that even though it may be personal for an individual, it could also be multidimensional. And so it could speak to many other people as well and the body of Christ. So this was a painting the Lord gave me yesterday for an individual, but I feel like the Lord is also speaking to us as the body of Christ for all of us. So I wanted to share it and, um, and see what uh, you think about it. Like springtime, the Lord said, you are a breath of fresh air, which that is what we're supposed to be as a body of Christ, right? The breath of fresh air. You are my sunshine and you light up a room when you walk into it. You tend to see the glass half full instead of half empty. You have a positive outlook and that brings encouragement and hopes to others. You tend to see the silver lining where others may see a dark cloud. See, many of us... Um, you know, when we're going through hard things, it's hard, it's easy to focus on the hard things and the negative things, but the Lord wants us to focus on what he's doing. We already know the enemies at work, the enemy's doing things, but we want to know what is the Lord doing and what is the Lord saying in the midst of this, in the midst of my situation. And so we are really called as a people, as his children to see the glass half full or the silver lining in situations, not always Focus on the negative thing and the hard thing and the, the difficult thing. The Lord said you carry joy and encouragement, and that's what we're all to be. We're to be lights. We're supposed to be his shining light, his sunshine, his ray of hope in the midst of dark and troubled times. You see the best in people, and you want others to see it as well, which that speaks to all of us because we're to see the gold in people. It's easy to see the negative about someone, but what is the Lord saying? Because each person is, is really a treasure and a jewel to God. And so we have to see what is God saying about this person or this situation? He's given you um, the spirit of counsel. He wants us to operate in the spirit of counsel, which the Lord mentions it in Isaiah 11. He talks about the seven spirits of God, and that really is the Holy Spirit flowing through each one of us at any given moment. And he wants us to be able to give that word of counsel in due season for the person that needs to hear it at that moment. And so that's what we're supposed to be. The Lord wants to be uh, wants us to highlight and strengthen that gift within us because people are looking for answers. People want to know the truth. People want to know what's happening. He's given us wisdom that needs to be shared. You carry the words of life because you carry the Holy Spirit. He's speaking through you and bringing hope and healing. The Lord says that he is the door in John 10, 9. He is the door and if anyone enters through him, he will be saved and we will go out and find pasture. We need to be able to bring provision for others and also have provision for ourselves, but it's also to be a place of peace and healing and hope. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, lovely, good, of good repute, if there's anything excellent and anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. That's in Philippians 4, verse 8. So be that ray of sunshine, be the silver lining, see the silver lining in, in every dark situation. Of course, the body of Christ is in the world is going through a really hard time right now, but God is doing some amazing things. He's bringing families together. He's bringing, uh, he's, he's helping us to rest, take time of rest. He's taking, he's allowing us to have time to listen, to stop and listen. He's stirring up those gifts within us that have been dormant because we haven't had time. We haven't taken time, I should say, to work on those things. So allow the Lord to use you. Let him show you the silver lining in this dark cloud in this season because it will pass. Blessings and have a great day.